Are you struggling to build a strong professional network? I'm going to be sharing seven tips on how to build a successful professional network. I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. People hire me for no BS coaching and career advice globally because I make things easy for people. And where I make it easy is around job search, hiring more effectively, managing and leading better, dealing with different workplace issues or a career transition because you don't have the time or the interest in figuring these things out. So you wind up doing it by trial and error. And because of all the experience I've had in recruiting and in coaching and in, frankly, you know, I'm trained as a therapist as well, there's a lot that I bring to function as your ally in all these processes. So whether you're starting out or you're already established in your field, Building a strong professional network can help you achieve your goals and open up new opportunities. So let's look at seven easy ways to build your network and advance your career. Now, the first one I'm, I know you know, and that's using social media like LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, even Facebook, because these are tools for building your professional network. Keep your profiles up to date, engage with other people. Now, engaging can be as simple as commenting on what other people post, sharing it. You know, it's a nice way to start connecting with people by supporting them. And thus, as you post things, which could be links to articles that you've seen or videos that you've seen, what you're able to do is elicit reciprocity. However, don't expect it for a while. It's not like the first time you're going to comment on something, people are going to instantly respond by commenting on yours. This is part of the grind of doing this. It's work done over time. Same thing with attending industry events. They are a great way to meet people and learn about the latest trends and developments in your field. So look for events in your area, look for events online, and make it a point to attend from time to time. Three, join professional organizations. And thus, you'll have access to events and resources, but also be able to connect with other men uh, members and find people who have interesting ideas, maybe function as a mentor for you, minimally as an advisor for you, and thus be able to expand your reach of support, which is really what we're talking about, your support system and how it can help you advance professionally and in a job search too. Number four is volunteering. You know, you can volunteer with these events or with organizations and meet new people and show your skills and expertise. It's also a way of giving back after years where others have given to you and you're able to build your network because you're a visible person. Attending physical conferences is also a great way to grow because again, you're meeting people or you have the opportunity to meet people. You do have to extend yourself to talk to people that you don't know. And you can always start off by saying, hi, I'm Jeff Altman use your name instead of mine. <laughs> and you know, I work for so-and-so doing such and such. What do you do? It's the easiest way to start connecting with people. And then from there, be curious. Ask questions that elicit them talking and not just you talking. Ask for introductions from people. Don't be afraid to ask for introductions to people in your field. Reach out to colleagues, mentors, friends, even coaches, and ask if they know someone who might be able to help you in building your network of relationships. And thus, the last point I want to make is, and this is the one that so many people struggle with, is follow-up. It's important to follow up with people you meet to build relationships with them. Sending a quick email, a text, a message, thanking them for their time and asking if there's anything you can do to help them in return is a very easy way to do it. And then following up from time to time. For example, a message at Christmas, a message at the new year, wherever it seems appropriate for you to send a message that is personal, that just talks about what you've accomplished during the year and maintains the connection is worthwhile. Building a strong professional network takes time and effort, but it's worth it. So follow these tips 
Start building your network or expanding your network, and this will help you take your career to the next level. I hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Alpin. My website is TheBigGameHunter.us. You can go to the blog. There's a ton there on networking and other things that will help you. Plus, you can schedule time for a free discovery call with me if you're interested in my coaching, uh, if, you, if you, you know, you're not sure yet, or you can schedule time for paid coaching with me, or if you have questions about your career or job search. Uh, schedule time through Trusted Advisor Services. I can help. You can also find that about my video courses, books, and guides at the, at the website. And I'll just remind you, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Have a terrific day, and most importantly, be great.